going to be talking about widowers and widows having new relationships and the impact that that can have on that new relationship person. So this comes as a question. Someone asked a question on one of my other videos. They had just got into a relationship with someone that was a widow and a widower, and they were struggling with um, this widow's late partner still being in the relationship. So that's what I'm going to address in this video. A couple of things before I do that. Firstly, please make sure that you subscribe. There is a button below me that says subscribe. Click the bell icon and you'll be notified when new videos go live. If you really want to support the channel, please do join as a member. Equally, there's a little button. When you click join as a member, you get access to unique members only videos. Um, and if you'd like me to respond to your comment, please give a thanks. Just say, say super thanks. Again, there's a button below me that says thanks. Click that. You can give a small amount of money and then I will respond to your video. So just a few ways that you can support the channel. Subscribe, join and say thanks by giving a small amount of money. So let's get into the content of this. I'm going to share my screen with you briefly. So this was the comment that someone made. It was a video that I did a little while ago. Does death end our relationship? Can you still love someone after they've died? And they said, I met someone one and a half years ago. They told me that he'd lost the love of his life. Saw me as a hope that he can be happy again. He says he's still not over her. It hurts me a lot. There's someone else in his heart, even now. We need to ask you people, how do I cope with it? What's the right approach? And I think that is actually a wonderful question. I think it's really good that someone is asking those kinds of questions. So I want to actually talk to her. I want to talk to the people that are in these new relationships because I absolutely imagine that it can be really difficult. Now, if you are in that situation, if you're in a relationship with someone that has lost a partner, a few things that I would like you to understand. Us widows and widowers, we never stop loving our late partner. We never stop loving them. However, I believe that love changes. The love changes very slightly. And it changes from the love that we have with someone that's alive to the love that we have with someone when they're dead. It's very much that word love is, a, is actually a terrible word. We use it to say, I love my children. I love my parents. I love my spouse. I love chocolate. And it's very clear that that word love is used for multiple things, but means very different things depending on the context. And the love that we have for a partner that is alive is a different type of love to the love that we have for a partner who is not alive. And at some point during that grieving process, that love changes. And I think as a widow, as a widower, as someone that's lost a partner, that's part of our grief acceptance journey is recognizing that that love has changed. So that's the first point. If you're in a relationship with someone who has lost a partner, the love that they still have for that partner that has died is a very different love. It's a very different love to the love that they'll have for you in this current relationship. That's point number one. Point number two is, is love finite? I don't think love is finite at all. Love will go on and on and on. If you have more than one child, you'll know that you love child number one with all of your heart. And when child number two turns up, oh, I find new love from somewhere. I can love that child. Child number three turns up. Wow, I didn't think this was possible. I can keep loving that child. I've got four. Fourth child turns up. Wow, we find that love. Love is not a finite resource. So love is not a finite resource as well when it comes to a partner. Just because you have, uh, you're have you in a relationship with a widow or widow or someone that's lost a partner and they say they still love their partner that has died, firstly, that love is different. And secondly, love is not a finite resource. Love isn't something that once we've used it up, it runs out. Love is a bottomless pit. Love can continue to grow and grow. And so I would really like to hear what you think about this. If you are in a relationship with someone that has 
lost a partner, let me know some of the challenges. And if you do that with a thanks, click a little super thanks below, then I will respond and I may even make a video to answer your questions as well. As ever, thank you so much. Take care, guys.